I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. Today I want to do a quick get ready with you and show you some products that I'm really enjoying right now as well as some products that I'm over, um, not enjoying as much anymore. So if you're curious to know what these products are and want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. All right, so I'll be honest, I'm not feeling that fantastic today. I mean, physically I feel fine, I'm not sick or anything, but I woke up, this eye is swollen, and it's just been one of those days where I've tried to get stuff done, even stuff that seems so simple, and I've just had all these frustrations. Now I'm gonna put on some makeup, hopefully this will turn my day around. So I'm starting with um, the Beauty Counter Dew Skin. I've used quite a bit of this, I actually have two. Two different colors um, and I've used quite a bit and as I use it up I roll it down and use these clips to hold it this used to be my favorite I couldn't do anything leave the house without it um, I mix the two colors by the way that's what's going on here the lighter one is number two and the darker one is number three so anyway I'm just gonna mix these together uh, in my hand and apply all over. So the Dew Skin is a moisturizing SPF and provides a little bit of coverage. So as I was saying, this used to be my all-time favorite. Couldn't leave the house without it. Um, I thought it was the best thing ever and that is not true anymore. I don't know if it's because I've tried some other products that I actually like better or if my skin has changed, or just the weather has changed, or my hormones, I really don't know. But now I find this to be too heavy and too greasy. I think maybe I just prefer it for winter time. Next I will go in with something I am loving, and that is the Elia True Skin. I have the color Selena, and um, I'm gonna shake it first. I, don't, I believe the directions say to shake it. So I'm gonna shake it, and my favorite way to apply it is um, to buff it out with my crunchy brush. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and dab it all over. So I really like the consistency of the Ilia True Skin. I love the way it looks. You can see your skin through it. Um, just like the name says, True Skin, it really just looks like skin, but better. It just perfects it some. I also like that you can build up coverage. You saw I only put one coat on, or one pump, I should say. So this is the coverage that provides. It is on top of the Beauty Counter Dew Skin, as you saw me put that on, and the Dew Skin works fine as a primer. Um, I feel like, like I said, it's a little greasy, so it kind of slides around a little bit. So I will top this all off with some powder once I get on my eye concealer. So I'm using the Well People BioCorrect multi-action concealer. I've really been liking this. I had been using, um, well, a couple different things. I had used the RMS Uncover Up and I had used the Fit Glow um, concealer. I can't remember the special name for that. And this is my favorite so far. Um, again, I think I prefer the RMS maybe in winter time because it's a coconut oil-based product and this is a more whipped formula. But this is how I put on um, this Well People. I just take the container, draw a little bit here and a little bit here, and you don't need that much. And then I will take my uh, concealer brush, this is just a double-ended concealer brush, and brush it out. I forgot to tell you, I have the color medium. On my skin tone, it works better for me to match my skin tone with my under eye concealer than to go lighter and brighter. It makes me look really tired. Um, so that's something to kind of play around with if you're thinking that you're not liking your concealer lately It could just be that you need to Make it darker, which is what I discovered um, And was surprising because I always heard you want to go lighter But for me the same color as the rest of my face for the most part is what works I'm gonna go ahead and use the Jane Iredale amazing matte um, Loose finish powder It doesn't seem to say a color um I, this was very one of my very first clean beauty purchases it has some great reviews I mean I feel like I say that whenever I don't like a product but um, yeah I'm just 
haven't been impressed with this. I find 100% Pure works a lot better. Um, I liked the Fit Glow uh, powder better. Again, that has a special name that I can't think of. And I also prefer the RMS, which who doesn't? So I'm just gonna dip in here. All right, so what don't I like about it? Um, I'm trying to think. It doesn't have any odor or scent, that's nice. I guess I just don't feel like it really does much. Um, I don't find that my makeup wears especially well. I don't think it does anything great for my pores, and it's also not really mattifying. You can still see there's, I feel like, plenty of shimmer and shine on my skin, or my skin looks dewy. On the one hand, I like a dewy look. On the other hand, this is supposed to be mattifying, and so I think that's also why I don't particularly care for the Jane Iredale powder. Also, I think it creases even more than usual under my eyes with it, so um, that's just not one I'm very excited about. I am gonna move on now with, I think, brows. I got the Eco Brow Pencil, the Defining Crayon. And I got the color Dark Brunette, and I'm really liking it. I actually like this color better than the beauty counter that I had been using. I'd been using medium. Um, I like to go a little warmer on my brows, even though my brows are dark and kind of a cool tone. I thought about getting one that matched my brows, but I just think as you get older, you need to go maybe a little warmer, a little less stark. Um, so I opted with this one, which also works great. So you just twist a little bit and you can see the tip is angled. It's like a flat crayon and I'm, it's so easy to use, which I'm also enjoying more than the pencil that I had been using from Beauty Counter. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And you only just need to touch it gently. I didn't push down at all. Um, it stays on really nicely. And then, so I've gone ahead and put it on this eye and then using the brush at the end, add some brush strokes really easily and nicely. And so you don't have to work at it. I'm not a brow fanatic or expert and I'm just not gonna spend the time. So I appreciate these kind of products. I'll probably go back and get the brow gel. It only came in clear, which is why I didn't get it. I just prefer a brow gel to a pencil because I think it's easier, quicker, and also holds your brows. Um, but I'm really glad I got this pencil. Nice. I like the packaging too. Um, it's thicker than most pencils and um, it's not heavy or anything, but it's a nice matte case and I just, I, I like the packaging on it. I'm going to put on some eye primer. I like to use my Lima Pure eye primer. I've just been really happy with this. Um, it's great as a base. It evens out the skin tone a little bit. Has a, here, I'll show you. Has a little bit of coverage. Um, goes on smoothly and easily. It's not super sticky. I think it adds maybe a little bit of sheen, a little bit of neutralizing. I just use my finger to put it on. I don't need that much to cover the whole eyelid. I've seen a lot of people go on as their next step after putting on their eye primer and putting a powder all over it for like a setting powder. Um, and I don't really understand that because my understanding is the whole point of the primer is to be a little sticky to hold the product onto it. So it seems like you defeat the purpose if you put some powder on top of it. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go right in with uh, my current go-to favorite palette. I've mentioned this before. This is the PYT No BS palette. And um, they don't have names on the back. So I can't tell you the, the colors, the names of the colors that I'm gonna use, but I want a little sparkle today, kind of, you know, wake me up, make me look a little more alive. So I'm covering this mirror so the light doesn't shine bright in your eyes. I'm gonna go in um, with this in the center of my lid and then I'll put some of this in my crease and probably this deeper warm brown um, in the corner and then we'll see how I feel after that. There really isn't much fallout, I know I as I scrape, as I wipe this off. Um, but that's just because I use it every day. But there really isn't much fallout from these shadows. You can see I'll dip in, like nothing fell out. 
and it's super pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Isn't that so pretty? The shimmer is for real. So if you don't want metallic, don't bother with these shimmery ones. The whole top row of this is matte, um, but the bottom is shimmery, and they are shimmery. You will get your bang for your buck in that one. Do people say that? Is that still an expression? And what I've learned is, and I hope this works for me, if you have hooded eyes, to put the sparkle or brightest just in the middle and not go all the way up to your crease. So kind of pay attention when your eye opens to only go to that first fold. I may have gone a little past that, but I'm trying. I obviously am not a makeup artist, in no way a professional, don't claim to be. I'm just a middle-aged woman who enjoys makeup and skincare and tries to stick to clean beauty and wants to share it with the world if anyone's out there watching. So now I'm gonna go in and this is a Bare Minerals um, crease brush. I believe it's called Eye Contour. I'm gonna tap this off. All of these shadows blend out really easily and nicely. Like I said, there's no fallout and they all go well together. You can, I've done so many different looks with this palette. I wear it for daytime, I wear it for nighttime. I just really enjoy it. Uh, so now I'm gonna go in with the deeper brown, the warm brown. Put that in the corners. Do you know what a Cricut is? It's like this machine that you can do lots of things with, but one of the things it does is write or cut on vinyl or lots of different materials. So I got into organizing, I think like the rest of the United States, I got into organizing and I was gonna be all cute about it and make some labels and decided to use my Cricut last night. It's like 10 o'clock, oh, I'm just gonna print these labels real quick. I spent hours already designing the font and designing the letters and the words and the spacing and the sizing and all of that, picking the colors and everything. So I go last night to print it and it just turned into one of those three hour long fiascos where the machine got caught, the blade that cuts wasn't sharp enough, ruined that whole sheet of vinyl, threw that out. Then I tried to print on another sheet of vinyl with a Cricut marker, but it turns out they smear. Um, then I tried to do it with a Sharpie, but they don't really fit in the machine. So now my husband is working on um, printing from our 3D printer, a special holder for the uh, Sharpie for my Cricut machine so that I can print these stupid labels. But I think that's part of why I woke up this morning in kind of a bad and tired mood with a swollen eye is because I had just, just had it with the whole thing, which maybe tells me I shouldn't be organizing. Um, no, I enjoy it and I'm sure we'll get it, but oh my gosh, I just had to share that. I'm sure if you can relate, let me know because um, I know I'm not the only one out there. So I'm gonna use the same brush that I used before. I'm just gonna wipe it off because that's how I'm rolling today. Um, and I'm gonna use this lighter shade on the inner corner of my eye as a highlight kind of to make my eyes look a little more open and alive and I'm gonna put it up here as well. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with another product that I'm loving, if I can find it. No, so I have the hardest time finding this product because the color is brown, my eyeliner is brown, but the container is like this silvery gray, so I can never find it when I'm looking for it. You would think I'd figure it out by now, I've been using it for about a week. This is the Well People Eye Pencil. So this is the color brown and um, I swatched it on my last video. I'll swatch it here for you today. I think it's the perfect color brown if you're a brunette, probably for anyone. I just, I really like it. It's not too gold, it's not too red, um, which I find a lot of them are. So I'm finding that this stays all day. It doesn't run or smear or smudge. And so this is the first eye pencil that I have found in Clean Beauty that, that does this. And I've tried a lot. So I'm gonna go in a little under the lash line on the upper lash and inside as well on the lower lash, just a teeny bit. 
and then I'll go a little outside the lash line as well. I'm trying to do a little more dramatic eye look today because I want to use my new Ilia lipstick, which I will show you, but that's the whole inspiration for this look. Now I'm going to go in with another eh product. I feel like I'm alternating products here and there. Um, this is Pacifica Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara. I've had sort of a, I don't know, love-hate relationship, love-like, not-like relationship with this mascara. I first got it and I tried it and I thought, what's the point? It did practically nothing for my lashes. Like, I could only barely tell if I even had it on one eye and not the other. But then I was like, oh, a lot of mascaras take time to break in and maybe this is one of those. And so then I continued to use it. And I was like, oh, that's exactly what the problem was. It just needed time to break in. I love it, it's great. It holds up well, it almost looks as good as my Lily Lolo, I really like it. But now I've been using it, trying to alternate every other day or so to use it, and I am again less happy with it. I don't know um, if it has to do with the weather, if it has to do with me, if it has to do with I've been alternating with my Lily Lolo and it's, I just love that mascara so much that nothing compares, I don't know. Uh, I can tell you, you can, I'll show you. So you see the difference, you can tell which I have it on. It looks pretty good, I think. I find that it requires more work to get it on than some of my other mascaras, especially the Lily Lolo. Um, it's a nice black. And um, so I do like the color. Also, it when it dries, it makes my lashes hard. So it's not as comfortable to wear as some other mascaras. So I think overall, I would say it's okay. It's not my favorite. It's certainly not the worst that I've tried. And I think once you get it on, it looks pretty good. Since my lip color is a little more neutral, I'm gonna mix it with this beauty counter. It's the powder blush duo. I've had this now for, I don't even know how long. I think they're phasing them out. I couldn't find this color online anymore. They're sold out. And the ones that are available, available are on sale. So I think this is going bye-bye. Part of the reason I don't really like it is it's hard to get out. I um, dip my brush into it and you can see how it's wearing so unevenly. Like, you really have to like struggle to, to get any product onto the brush. It's just not, um, I don't know. This one, I don't have any trouble getting it onto my brush. It's velvety and nice. Um, so this one, one might be an older formula or maybe it's just the way it's packaged, but I would not recommend it. Let me see. It's Tawny is the name of this color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on. And now I'm going to use the same brush and go in with the blush. The blush that accompanies it is called Whisper Murmur. Whisper Murmur. I think that's all one name. Um, now I'm finally ready to do the lipstick. I'm going to show y'all. Well, actually, first I'll go in with um, my Mineral Fusion Lip Pencil in Elegant. This is currently my favorite lip pencil. I find it wears well all day. It goes on easily and um, it's not too um, creamy. It doesn't smudge all over, but you can fill your lips in with it and wear it just as a color over lip gloss or it stays put around your lips. And I'm loving this color for pretty much almost any color lipstick because it's very similar to my lip color. Um, so it kind of looks natural and there's the color. I'll go ahead and put this on. I like to overline my lips the slightest bit and then fill in a little in the corners to pull the color in. And I already had on some um, Drunk Elephant Lippy, which is their lip moisturizer. It's awesome. This is the color Darlin, and this is the Ilia Tinted Lip Conditioner SPF 15, so I love these for summer. I've been really impressed with how comfortable and moisturizing it is. Um, this is what it looks like. And I will show it to you on my hand. So it looks more corally to me, but then when I put it on, um, it's very near my natural skin color. It's 
So it's not matte, it's not super shiny, but you can, can you see that it's moisturizing? It feels so good on my lips. Instead of reaching for a lip gloss, I'll just reach for this now. Uh, I'll keep it in my purse, especially during summer when the sunblock or sun protection is really good and needed because your lips get burnt too, people. Don't forget your lips. And finally, I'm gonna go in with some uh, highlighter. This is my very well-loved pop collection from the signature set of RMS Beauty. I dropped it and the top is just no longer attached. Um, so I'm gonna use the Magic Luminizer from this. I have a full size of it as well, but this is right here. <laughs> this poor guy. It's definitely seen better days. Um, but it works great over anything, over um, water-based foundations or oil-based foundations or um, so I think that that's great because I found a lot of products, a lot of cream highlighters either remove the foundation and product beneath it or um, cause it to break up. And this thankfully does not do that. And it offers a, provides a beautiful um, shimmer or highlight. Pretty natural looking, I think. So I'm putting it on the high points of my face. And then lastly, I'm gonna go in with my setting spray, my Lily Lolo setting spray. I have not found anything I like as well as this, especially in the clean beauty world. So if you know of something, please let me know because I am very close to running out and I don't wanna be without it. This makes a huge difference, especially in this kind of weather when it's hot out. Um, I just find my makeup stays beautifully when I use this. So here I go. It will dry down. I know right now it looks a little shiny and wet, but it will dry down. Now I'm gonna uh, take my hair down, try to do something with that, and I will be right back. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I can't thank you enough for letting me get ready with you today. I feel so much better. I started off really down and kind of mopey at the beginning of this video. I just felt mulled over by my morning, but I feel so much better. Of course, makeup can do that. I know people say makeup is silly and um, superficial but it really for me helps me feel better plus just the process of putting it on and playing with it can be so much fun so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned a little bit or um, saw some products maybe you weren't familiar with I'd love to hear from you if you have questions about any of the products I used or suggestions I am by no means a makeup artist or professional I could always use suggestions especially if you have a suggestion to replace my Lily Lolo setting mist um, otherwise, I'm just going to buy that happily, but I just, I'm always wanting to try new things. And on that note, if there's something you'd like to see me test out, I'm glad to do that. Just let me know. And in the meantime, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.